Without question, Tomahawk is one of the best games of my childhood. The helicopter in this game is based on the Apache AH-64 and it entered service in 1984. It was advanced then and it still packs a punch today. It was also the game that got me into flight simulators and I couldn't believe the access to weaponry and how deep the whole entirety of the experience played out. It was highly rewarding. This was the Amstrad CPC version. I'm aware it was on the ZX Spectrum and probably on the Commodore 64 as well. There were many games that followed, very similar. Uh, Gunship was another. In fact, some might argue that Gunship was the superior game and I probably wouldn't argue with that. I just personally preferred Tomahawk. This game came with a great big huge whopping manual and I remember that the helicopter is armed with an M2 30 cannon which fires 30 millimeter rounds at an unbelievable rate of 600 to 650 rounds per minute. I had no idea what that meant back in the day but it sounded amazing and this helicopter to fly it takes some getting used to but it's a thing of beauty once you work it out you can literally hide behind trees, hills, mountains and glide through the heavens. Of course the graphics aren't anything like what you get today but back then you had to use your imagination. In today's world people receive emails that are bigger than this game. But here I am decades later playing Tomahawk like it was yesterday, like riding a bike. I loaded the game up and I was airborne in seconds. The mind, it's a wonderful thing, and if you're really into something, it never forgets. And although I've mentioned the cannons, nothing compares to the Hellfire missiles. Devastating is putting it lightly. And the chap that programmed this game, uh, David Marshall, he also did Fighter Pilot, that was fantastic. And my favourite game of all time on the Amstrad, F-16 Combat Pilot. I spent days, weeks, months, years playing all of those games. Absolute classics. And all before I was 11. Oh, I nearly forgot Harrier Attack. How good was that? Now I'm not going to go into massive amounts of detail. It would take a book. But you've got four missions. You can fly day or night. Uh, clear or cloudy. You can turn on crosswinds and turbulence. You've got pilot ratings, you can start off as a trainee, squadron, instructor or an ace. And there was even an option to choose a colour screen or a green screen. I think the big thing about this game, I was finally free. I could do it my way, go wherever I wanted and only a lapse in concentration would stop me. You know what, I'm playing this and I'm just happy flying around. Now there's a couple of things to remember when playing this game. So your helicopter provides essential support to ground forces. Without your efforts, the ground forces will always lose. The map is split down the middle, so you must push the opposing forces back off the edge of the map. So you need to fight a balanced battle, but with total occupation in mind. So the entire map to start off with, except for one square, is enemy occupied. You need to retake the area from those enemy forces. And there is also conflict between forces at specific points on the map. So you need to push the enemy back to their own territory. So back in the day, the top Amstrad CPC magazine, Amstrad Action, awarded Tomahawk 92% and they gave it an AA rave. But what they said in the third opinion was that simulators certainly have come on a long way since fighter pilot. The days are gone when you could have either a realistic simulator or a worthwhile game, but not both. This game quite definitely is both. So I think to sum up, Tomahawk, i.e. the AH-64A Apache gunship, is the true star of simulators on the Amstrad CPC. The Tomahawk is a tank buster and you're armed with an assortment of weapons to seek and destroy them. You get the 3D vector graphics view of surroundings for the terrain. With that you've also got enemies that are viewed in vector graphics. And there were only ever 
a few helicopter simulators on the Amstrad but this is definitely the best. So not my usual style of video but it's a memory of a fine game that I used to enjoy playing as a child. I haven't played it in years but I wanted to share with everyone so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to like, leave a comment, definitely share it would also be a massive bonus to us if you could subscribe. And until next time, ta a bit.